Tonight, we can reveal that Nick Clegg is considering whether Lord Renard should be kicked out of the Liberal Democrats because his refusal to apologise over alleged inappropriate behaviour brings the party into disrepute. The Lib Dem leader and president have been urging him to say sorry to the women who came forward with complaints, but so far he's failed to comply with that request. Earlier today, this programme asked the leader's office whether he was content for the peer to rejoin the party in the Lords, having openly defied Mr Clegg. Minutes before we came on air, we were sent a statement making clear the leadership had finally lost patience. Well, our political correspondent Michael Crick is with me now. Well, Michael, tell us more about what this statement says. Well, it, it uh, quotes a Liberal Democrat spokesman, spokesperson as saying at uh, 6.38 this evening, Nick Clegg is of the view that as long as Lord Renard refuses the very reasonable request from Alistair Webster QC uh, to apologise, Mr Webster is the chap who investigated uh, the Renard affair, to apologise that it is inappropriate for him that is, um, Renard, to rejoin the Liberal Democrat group in the House of Lords. Nick has communicated this to the Chief Whip and leader of the House of Lords group. In addition, the statement says, a growing number of party members have come forward to make representations to the party that Lord Renard's refusal to apologise in itself brings the party into disrepute. The Lord's Chief Whip and leader of the House of Lords group will be discussing the matter with Party HQ and will review the reinstatement of the Whip on this basis. Well, that's the statement. What does it all mean? Well, it means the Liberal Democrats are in an almighty mess. Um, I mean, I suppose they could get out of it if uh, Lord Renard was to apologise, change his mind and apologise uh, sometime over the weekend, which, uh, given what uh, uh, he, he and his people have been saying, doesn't look likely. Uh, and then there's a standoff, really, between Nick Clegg and uh, the group in the House of Lords. And Lord Renard has... Uh, as you know, uh, from the, I think it's roughly 90 or 100 peers in the Lords, considerable support there, uh, and they were going to reinstate the whip on Monday, and now they've got to decide whether they're going to comply with the, what Nick Clegg says or uh, carry on supporting uh, Lord Renard. I mean, if they were to do that, the latter support Lord Renard, that leaves Nick Clegg, uh, well, it severely undermines his authority within the party. Uh, well, and what of this phrase, bringing the party into disrepute, why is that so significant? Well, that is hinting at, really, that uh, we're not just going to... I don't, I don't just want to deprive you of the whip in the House of Lords, um, but uh, much more important... Uh, is threatening the possibility of throwing Renard out of the party altogether. Because it, those are the grounds in the party rules that, under that, which that, you yeah, could... Bring, bring, that phrase, bringing the party into disrepute, uh, not just for Liberal Democrats, all sorts of organisations, is the sort of phrase uh, that you, uh, on the grounds on which you do throw people out. And I should say that we did try and contact Lord Renard just before coming on air and we haven't yet got a statement from him. No, we, we're hoping that we may get something before the end of the programme.